hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel this is dr nas and today i'll be discussing about different fungal diseases in lungs and uh, aspergillosis is one of them so i'll be discussing it as well so the few fungal diseases which includes lung are allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis aspergilloma and invasive pulmonary aspergillosis Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis is a hypersensitivity reaction to germinating fungal spores of Aspergillus fumigatus. The patient will present with cough, wheezing, hemoptysis, recurrent episodes of brown flecked sputum, which are the bronchial casts, and worsening of asthma. The associated conditions with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis are asthma and cystic fibrosis. The diagnosis can be made by CT scan in which there will be proximal bronchiectasis, positive skin test to an extract of aspergillus fumigatus, there will be elevated total serum IgE levels, there will be eosinophilia and microscop uh, microscopic examination of sputum will reveal fungal hyphae. These are fungal hyphae on the microscopic examination. This is proximal bronchiectasis, the inner two-third of the chest field. The treatment includes the use of a steroid, the maintenance therapy with low dose of oral steroids, that is prednisolone for 7.5 to 10 mg daily. Acute exacerbation may need high dose steroids around 40 to 60 mg. Itroconazole, which is an antifungal agent, is given. A four-month trial is usually recommended to assess its efficacy for recurrent episodes. Aspergilloma, which is also known as fungal ball. It refers to growth of aspergillus fumigatus within previously damaged lung tissue where it forms a ball of mycelium fungus within the lung cavity and the most common site is upper lobes of lung. Risk factors may include tuberculous cavities, most common because there is increased immunity, so there is increased chances of fungal infection. Abscess cavity, bronchiectasic spaces and pulmonary infarct these all can lead to fungal ball formation. It is often asymptomatic, however it can present with recurrent hemoptysis. The chest x-ray will show carcinoma-like features and it produces a tumor-like opacity. Unlike carcinoma, it shows a crescent sign. There is no crescent sign in carcinoma. A crescent of air between the fungal ball and upper wall of the cavity. You can see the fungal ball in the upper lobe of no treatment. Lung. However, symptomatic patients who are fit for surgery can go for surgical excision, which is the treatment of choice. Those patients who are unfit for surgery can undergo local installation of amphotericin B or bronchial artery embolization. These are also very useful. Following are not useful. Regular antifungal therapy will not help. Steroids may predispose to invasion, so they should be avoided. Next is invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. What are the risk factors? The patient with neutropenia caused by drugs, which is the most common cause. Hematological malignancy, advanced HIV disease, severe COPD and immunocompromised patient. So whatever the cause which is making a patient immunocompromised it will result in invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. The CT scan shows nodular consolidation associated with a halo of ground glass opacity. It results from invasive pulmonary aspergillosis and this halo represents a hemorrhage. It will present with severe necrotizing pneumonia. There will be fever and hemoptysis. Thrombosis and infarction of pulmonary vessel can occur. A spread to brain, heart and kidneys is common. The treatment includes voriconazole, which is a drug of choice. Alternative agents may include amphotericin B and caspofungin. That's it for today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you do, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.